Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. Hope you're having a great week. This week's video is dedicated once again as a Rafu Shalem for Nechama Bas Chaya Rivka, get well soon. In this week's Parsha, Parsha Sisra, the Jewish people receive the Torah. And in this week's Haftorah, we read from the book of Isaiah. Now, I gotta be honest with you, uh, bad news. I don't really know what I'm talking about this week. And that's because the subject of this week's Haftorah is the subject of Isaiah seeing a vision known as the Meiser Merkava, similar to what Ezekiel's has. I'm sure you know the connection. But another thing I don't know what I'm talking about is the exact connection between this week's Pasha and the Haftorah. Um, it seems to be a little up in the air. Some seem to be a little bit of a stretch. The Jewish people had a revelation at Mount Sinai in which Moses was able to see things that human beings can't really see. Same t so too with Isaiah. He had his vision, and his vision consisted of the angels surrounding Hashem. Again, I don't know what this means, but it means something big, that's for sure. But the angels surrounding Hashem, and they were saying verses that we actually get to say every single day. They said, Kaddish, 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 Hashem, Tzavakas, Melech, Kvade, Hashem is so holy, His entire world fills, the entire glory fills the entire world. It fills the entire earth. They also say, Baruch Kvad Hashem Em Koymai, blesses Hashem's glory from His place. Again, it's it's hard for us to try to put into a two or three minute video the magnitude of this, um, okay, of this statement that just spreads throughout the realms of everything spiritual out there. However, every single day, 4,960,000,000 different angels get to sing the praises of Hashem. Some of them... Have, are able to do it once a week, once a day, once a week. Some of them do it once a month, once a year. And some angels only get their turn once every 50 years. However, we Hashem's children, we're not Hashem's servants, but rather we're Hashem's children. And we get, we have the merit to actually do it every single day, to say this verse. We say it at least twice in the morning. And it is an incredible honor for us to be able to extol Hashem's amazingness, albeit we don't really understand what we're saying, but nevertheless, we have to realize this is, this is like amazing things to say, and we have the merit to be able to say it every single day, twice every single day, and yeah, it's something pretty amazing. And every time we say it, we become sanctified and elevated. Our souls become sanctified and elevated. As a matter of fact, Medish Tanchuma says that women who are expecting should actually go to Shul and say it because the verse. It has nine words. Kadosh, 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 Hashem, Tzavakos, Malay, Chal, Haaretz, Kevodo. And each word corresponds to, to each month of pregnancy. And any, anytime a woman goes to the synagogue and she says this responsa, it actually is a guarantee that she will have a safe delivery. So all your pregnant women out there, make sure you run. The second part that I just want to share with you, also still not really sure what I, I know what I'm talking about, that Hashem kind of punishes Isaiah. And um, what happened is one of the coals was taken from the heavenly altar. It was put onto his lips and he was burnt a little bit as an atonement for something he did wrong. What did he do wrong? He was so amazed by this vision that he was so upset. He said, what was me that I didn't join in the singing with the angels while they, while they were saying it? And the reason why he didn't sing along is because he was, became so aware of how holy the angels were that he realized how impure he and the Jewish people were. And Hashem, though, however, was angry. How can you say that the Jewish people are impure, that they have lips that are impure? They they said, Nasev Anishma, they proclaimed at Mount Sinai that we will listen and we will do everything that Hashem told us to do. And they also say, Shema Yisrael, twice a day. So how can you call, how can you cast, a, how can you cast a get the Jewish people saying that they have impure lips? So, the hot coal was taken, put on his lips, acted as a, a an atonement for him. Of course, it wasn't a full atonement because he has to go through the regular atonement process. process. However, what we're seeing from him here, again, something that's immensely magnitudinal. As Isaiah spoke Lashon Hara, and he was punished, and we have to be so careful with what we say, how we speak, especially when we talk about the Jewish people. We have to extol their virtues. And from then on, he instead of trying to give reproof to the Jewish people, he said, Hashem, please help me, please help me figure out different ways that I could give reproof to your people, help them change for the better, and not necessarily speak to them in sharp words. 
what's weird about that is right afterwards, Hashem said to the angels, who can come and give reproof to my, to my children? And Isaiah said, pick me, I can do it. So maybe in order to be able to give somebody rebuke, you have to first be aware of what it means to speak Lush and be very careful with it. Only once you are, that's when you can actually speak of other people, love other people. You have to first be aware of the seriousness of this sin. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of like up in the air here. I'm not really saying anything concrete, I know, but it's because this entire story, this entire Parsha, this entire vision that he had is way above my pay grade. Isaiah saying was above his pay grade as well, and he became befuddled. I'm a little befuddled over here, but I think being befuddled is kind of part of it. We're trying to grasp at straws here, trying to understand this amazing thing over here, but he's got to be careful with how he speaks, and we're seeing that just because they may have been bad, but Hashem focuses on the good. Kali Yisrael said, the Jewish people said, Nasa Vinishma. We will do and we will hear and we, we will listen and we will do. And they also say Shema Yisrael. So you see how Hashem views us. Hashem views us as being holy people. Because every single day we say these two things. And we also get to say, like we said before, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Um, so the angels do that from sunrise to sunset. And we get to do it in the morning. They, get, they only have permission to say it only once we say it. It's amazing the, the, the responsibility that we have. I'm rambling on and on. But anyway, I hope you gr gleaned a little bit of something. Thank you for listening. As always, have a good job.